Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ducks and Download. So in this episode, I decided to get all dressed up for you because we're going to be talking about Duxin itself. Duxin is actually one of the moons of Onderon. Onderon is a lush jungle planet with crazy aggressive wildlife. In its very ancient days, the only thing that kept these people safe was learning to tame and ride the wildlife, becoming what is known as the Beast Riders in the Old Republic. Later, Onderon will build walls and become civilized, and the Beast Riders will remain in the outsides of the wall, living as their ancestors did, while the others get fat and happy in their palaces. Duxin is the closest moon for Onderon. Matter of fact, Duxin is so close to Onderon that throughout its orbit, it actually shares atmosphere with the planet of Onderon. That is how these beasts were able to grow so large and crazy, flying to Duxin to feed or mate and populate with no human interaction, and then coming back when the orbit would return, terrorizing and destroying whatever got in their path as they try to retake new land and territory for their species. During the Great Sith War, heralded by Exar Kun, Ulit Keldroma's own Mandalorian army, led of course by Mandalore the Indomitable, tried to assault Onderon by flying directly from the moon Duxin to Onderon's main palace and capital, Isis. But of course, with a bit of Jedi help and just how fearsome the Onderonian people are, the Beast Riders, the Jedi, and the palace troops of Onderon were able to hold back Mandalore and his very powerful Mandalorian crusaders until they were actually defeated and routed from the planet Onderon. Retreating back to Duxin, Mandalore the Indomitable fell and was hurt, and in that moment, the beasts of Duxin, being as unforgiving as they will forever be, took to Mandalore, ripping him to shreds. The only thing that was ever found after was the Mask of Mandalore, taken up then by the Tong successor who would become known as Mandalore the Ultimate in the Great Mandalorian Wars. After that, though, Mandalore the Ultimate and Clan Ordo would set up shop and a base of operations on the moon of Duxin and many Mandalorians would go there to test their might and, and ferocious battle skills. As again, these beasts of Duxin were so famed for being Jedi killers and Mandalorian killers. If you took one step on the wrong path or didn't think about your surroundings at all times, the jungle would consume you just as quickly as the creatures would. So here begins my new little series where I'll be talking about planets and parts of planets and random bits of space throughout the Star Wars galaxy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment what your favorite planet is down below, and maybe I'll cover it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Have an amazing rest of your evening, and may the Force serve you well.